Hi guys, welcome to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to make a club hanger. Uh, it will be a part of my uh, handrail system. Uh, in a, one of the previous episodes, I prepared that uh, main uh, element, which is a flat bar and a weldable uh, hinge. This is the one of two parts. Uh, for this project, I would need also a piece of pine. Uh, I don't want to use any screws and um, or nails, so I'm going to try to make it with the uh, glue. And from the main materials, uh, that's actually it. Uh, so the concept is to have that flat bar as it is. Uh, prime it, obviously, and um, have uh, two pieces of a pine uh, on sides. So the flat bar will be uh, visible only from uh, top and from the, uh, from the bottom. Uh, as a wood, I'm going to use this, you can see some uh, holes after nails or screws, I guess, uh, because it was Many, many years ago, it was a uh, part of fans of my um, dog's playpen. But now it's a pretty dry and nice piece of pine. Uh, those holes will not be visible because I would like to use uh, that part. So this is absolutely fine. I'm going to cut uh, one centimeter thick uh, pieces, two pieces and then uh, push it, uh, them against my uh, thicknesser to have more or less like 7 millimeters. Um, and that's actually it from this main job. Uh, this one will be uh, primed using the same uh, Otex that I used uh, for the handrail system. And this one uh, I'm going to stain uh, using the same uh, stain, stain that I use for uh, uh, for the shell that I prepared for the firewood. All uh, the wooden elements will be also uh, covered by uh, epoxy because pine is uh, very soft wood and the hangers can make a indents uh, in it. So this is, is, this is going to be a very simple project, very quick project, except the time for drying all the stains and uh, primers. Uh, but that's a very, very simple project. So let's get started. And now I have pretty nice piece of uh, pine so one and here's another one uh, there are some marks still left uh, but it is uh, thicker than uh, I need so I hope that uh, most of them will be uh, removed by the thicknesser and uh, also I don't need the full length I need more or less like a one meter it is like a 150, so I can choose the the best uh, uh, the best part uh, of those two elements. And the marks from the scrap, you can see many of them. So full reuse or full recycle. Okay, so uh, wood is done. Uh, primer on a, a main steel element is, is drying so now it's time to uh, to make them uh, thinner uh, so my two uh, wooden elements are uh, ready uh, there's a one important thing when you use a planer always plane uh, both sides otherwise you can create some tension uh, inside of wood and even uh, a board 
uh, was uh, straight. If you remove just uh, from the one side uh, too much uh, compared to the other side, it will start bending. Maybe I will trim it a little bit more. We will see. So far, it's uh, it's uh, quite okay. Uh, I will just make this uh, edges uh, rounded. It it can be like this, and I will uh, choose uh, the best part of those uh, planks. Still a little bit longer than I need, but uh, way shorter, uh, just to reduce amount of work that I need to uh, apply to, to make it. Uh, looking nice. Uh, I have prepared my uh, wooden parts. They are uh, stained, but just once, and just to uh, yeah, just have a one at least one layer. And this one is also um, prepared and uh, painted. It should be already dry. Uh, here uh, on this end. Uh, I had to trim a little bit of uh, the dead wood and uh, just because I have uh, welds uh, close to a uh, hinge and the same is here. Uh, pine is pretty um, light in color uh, so there is always an issue with end grains. <coughs> Uh, because end grain is always uh, way darker uh, than uh, the sides. Uh, but there's a, there are a few solutions for it. Uh, one is a uh, shellac you can use. But if you don't have, uh, as I don't, because I do not stain too often and uh, very often I don't mind about the, the endings because they are for uh, my garage, so it uh, doesn't have to. Uh, be that nice uh, but the other solution is to um, somehow let's say uh, sealed or soaked and end grains using uh, wood glue so I prepared uh, two scraps uh, with glue and that will be a row uh, so here is uh, one uh, portion of uh, wood glue with two portions of uh, of wood, everything is mixed, and that has to dry for at least uh, a day, let's say. So I'm not going to show you this uh, now. Uh, I will show you later in this episode because it has to stay overnight and dry well. Uh, the same I did here and here. So now it's time to uh, glue all those pieces together. Uh, I didn't want to drill uh, any holes and uh, use uh, screws um, for this purpose. Uh, it really doesn't uh, look nice. So that's why uh, we'll do this attempt um, to use only a glue. If I will figure out any issues with it, then I can drill hole screw all those three pieces together at any time but let's try to do this uh, with glue only Okay, <clears throat> and uh, I've got two supports with a kind of sharp edge and that uh, is from and the purpose of it is to make uh, at least one of the lines uh, straight so that will be top part
and now we will have a nice sandwich that I would like to squeeze a little bit, not too much because I don't want to push too much pressure and squeeze all the glue from inside. I just want to keep it in place. Okay, so that's the best I can achieve uh, with these pieces of wood. So let it dry out and remove all this uh, foam, clean up and uh, stain it again. Uh, glue is dry and it was it, it makes a mess as uh, expected, uh, but I already uh, removed that mess and I uh, stained that uh, second time and the metal bar, uh, flat bar, I, printed, uh, I painted uh, black. So here you can see. Uh, it isn't um, as perfect as I um, expected, uh, but it's not bad overall. Uh, the flat bar, the metal part is a little bit higher than the wood part, which was uh, Mm, what I wanted and I also knew that uh, the pieces of wood are not uh, perfectly straight and um, I thought that I will have more time to uh, make all these adjustments when during glue up uh, but it seems that my glue is um, old and it start meshing uh, faster than I uh, uh, expected. Uh, but anyway, uh, here I have uh, my crappy anvil, pretty crappy tool, but I will use it in a second. It has a second part of a hinge, so that can that bar can uh, hang and dry. But that in a second. Uh, but yesterday I was talking about using um, wood glue with water to seal uh, end grain. Uh, I hope that my camera can see, if not I will take uh, pictures. You can see two end grains and the same here. I guess this is a better example. And uh, I guess it's uh, pretty easy to, to guess which one was sealed, which one wasn't. Yeah, Here is raw wood, it's way darker. Here is with, uh, with glue and it's uh, way lighter and when I put let's say like this there's almost no difference uh, with this raw wood you can see immediately that this darker and it was stained just once so second stain would make a difference even more significant um, okay so back to uh, this uh, hanger. Now I'm going to uh, put some epoxy on it and because I need this for tomorrow, as usual I'm short on time, my idea is that this uh, hanger has two sides. That one will be visible from a living room that one will be mostly uh, covered by stairs. It can be visible, of, of course, uh, but this one will be uh, exposed way more often. So I will pay more attention to that side. That's why I will start from this side. I will put epoxy here to almost to the end to be able to grab and twist it. Then I will put epoxy on this side to the very end. Then using that not epoxy uh, part to hang it and finish this epoxy uh, in a um, vertical. And this advantage of this epoxy is that both uh, ingredients uh, 
have the same color so uh, it's uh, quite difficult to to guess when the both were mixed correctly let's assume to this moment So uh, the main part is uh, done and now I need to wait uh, for this epoxy to, to dry and uh, probably at the end I will spray it with some transparent but uh, matte or semi-matte um, finish uh, but uh, I guess that's the end of this video uh, I will put some uh, pictures uh, at the end of this video uh, to show you how, how it looks uh, in, a, in the final place. But for now, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. I edited this video a couple months after, uh, after I uh, recorded it, uh, which is good for this video because now I can show you how this uh, bar uh, looks like after, uh, after those months. And my apology because uh, we do um, some renovation in this corridor and also the stairs. Uh, so it doesn't look that pretty, but that's not about this. So take a look on uh, how this uh, bar uh, looks like. Uh, on the left side, you can you may see uh, some small chain. Uh, it is because I had to add uh, one more anchor point. Uh, welds that I did were uh, on the right side. They were pretty okay, but the hinge was uh, was bending uh, because the leverage was was too big. Uh, maybe you can see. Uh, there is my uh, motorcycle uh, jacket and trousers hanging, my girlfriend's stuff as well. Uh, we had a couple of uh, parties, uh, Christmas, uh, Easter, and uh, everything works. Uh, I glued this um, piece of pine to the uh, steel flat bar and it works perfectly fine. There are no uh, marks after using, using uh, Ryzen. So it is also pretty, pretty cool. Um, this chain that we have on the, on the left side, uh, sometimes we use it as an emergency. Maybe even I can show you. Now it's not this. Yeah, you can see we hang sometimes uh, some, some extra hangers on that chain. Uh, but uh, overall, it looks pretty, pretty okay. And it does the job as, uh, as I wanted it to.